Woody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for The Promised Neverland chapter 181.8 and I'm really fucking excited right now. I really am friggin' excited right now for multiple reasons. Um, but, uh, before I get to this chapter and explain why I'm excited, um, I gotta talk about the Gemfesta announcement. Um, in regards to season two of the anime adaptation. So, Kaya was actually working on the writing for the anime adaptation of The Promised Neverland, so we might actually be getting a psychological thriller for season two, which is already awesome within itself, but we're getting anime original content up in there. And the fact that Kaya was working on it on top of that, woo, we might get some plot holes filled. So, I actually might watch it. And if you guys want me to cover it, let me know in the comment section below. But now to what I'm really excited about this chapter. Because first of all, this chapter is titled Special Pilot Chapter. Not an extra or bonus chapter. Special Pilot Chapter. Um, and it's titled We Were Born. And something that I've been bitching about. And I'm telling you, they're kind of supposed to watch my shit. Because I've been, something I've been bitching about is I've been saying that... There's so much that they could do with this universe, and um, there's so much content that they haven't covered. But something that I've been wanting, I either wanted a prequel, midquel, sequel, or fucking all of it, man. Because there's so much they could do. And something that I've been hoping that they will cover is um, this, uh, the war that happened on the human side of, of uh, um, the universe. Of, you know, of this universe. So, I, and it looks like we might be getting it. Uh, and I really hope that this... This, this really means we're gonna get it. Please don't, don't screw me over and get my hopes up, man. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. Ooh, it's like a meteor shower. Life just disappears every day. Uh, things are going bad, Leo. Let's back out for now. Um, shoot, I can't see anything. I guess it's finally my turn to die. Someone started a civil war. Foster? 
Peter was left in front of this church when she was a baby. Perhaps because of that, she unconsciously tries to be useful to others. She tries to become someone who is wanted. All the children here are like that. Yes, I was right! The Civil War turned this country into a hell. It's already been half a century. So this is, this is a midquel. In a way. So this is a definitely a midquel to me. So I'm guessing how this is going to, we don't have like the exact time yet. But we're basically getting this, um, the human world equivalent of the promised Neverland. So that's what my, um, uh, that's what my guess is, is that um, this is happening while all the events of, um, of the Promised Neverland are going down. But we're seeing it in the human world. So this is very, this is exact, I'm going to say this, this is exactly what I freaking wanted. Thank you. Um, it's already been half a century. Mom, Dad, don't cry, Leo. Your big brother's gonna study hard to, to get a job and make money. Okay, um, big job, uh, sorry. Your big brother's gonna study hard to get a job and make money, okay? What? Air raids, air raids by the government, guerrilla terrorist attacks. Even if we study our work, we don't gain anything. Life is precious, life is precious? That's a lie. And I'm telling you the timing of these fucking manga chapters. Whew, so... I'm going to say this right now. You mofos that want civil war, you don't understand what a fucking civil war is. It's not pretty. Everyone is six feet under. Why were we born? For what purpose? Duh, we were born to die. Boss, everyone, this is um, your new younger sister, Margo. How cute. She was born with a condition. She can't even get out of bed on her own. I'll do anything to help. Ooh, I got a bad feeling about this one. Anything so that Margo can get better. Thank you, Rita. You're the best older sister. Oh, oh, I, I got a feeling this is very similar to what we've seen. If this is what I think it is, ooh, this is very similar to what um, we've seen in Kangen Ashura in particular. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Um, I wonder if Margo loves books. My family, I'm so happy. I'm going to be the best sister ever. Oh, I should return this picture. Uh, she's a good girl. I can't thank you enough. No problem. Indeed. I obtained an organ at a good time. Yep, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. King and Ashura, the same thing happened same thing and i love that we're getting this we're we have something similar here um in promised neverland so in the human in the demon world remember uh, or i should say remember in promised neverland that what um what peter said two sides of the same coin oh yes 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 and instead of demon instead of human farms for human meat we got organ farms yes Yes, yes, and we, and literally, they exist in, in real life, and also we've seen it in Kegan Ashura in, um, in the slums. Setsuna was raised to, um, be, uh, was one of those kids to be raised to be an organ donor. My daughter won't survive without a transplant. She was born to be loved, yet she's been ill since she was born. Even though we waited, no donor came forward. If we take the legal route, only death awaits for my daughter. Lately, she doesn't even smile. Rita, she's our hope. The perfect, um, perfectly compatible donor. Rita, did you hear something? You heard something. Father, I... Listen, Rita, you're a kind, beloved child of the Lord. If you die, that man's daughter will be saved. Yep. Yeah. You said you'd do anything. You're a good person. Jesus would have done, uh, done the same. Why do you make that face? Returning to our heaven. But in the slums in Keganashra, oh, they did not use Jesus as an excuse. Um, why do you make that face? Returning to our heavenly father, death is something to be happy about. 
It's your last night here. Rest up. Yes! I love that. We Dude, this is a great twist on Promise, Never on, uh, Promise Neverland. Two sides of the same coin instead of mother having a father using a church instead of a farm. But So it's not a literal farm, but it's a great front. I love it. This is such a good, good idea. Make the, dude, I want the, make, I need this series in my life. This is exactly, exactly what I, dude, this is what I wanted and more. Oh my God. Hey, thanks for the help. The leader of the traitors is still alive. I'm heading over to crush them before they regroup. You're hurt. That's impossible. I just need to get the leader, even if I go down with him. You're going there to die? What's wrong? I'm scared. Dying is scary. Why do you think I was born into this world? For what? Um, this way, my lady. <laughs> you sold her for money? She left you as a father. Yes, that foolish girl. She was just a tool to make money from the beginning. Ooh, so this gets even better. Whereas in the, um, whereas on the demon side, it was just a tool for, uh, the farms were for survival. This was a tool for, this is a tool for greed. We're, again, back to the same thing with Pete, what Peter said. Two sides of the same motherfucking coin. We see it not just in the church, or I should say the organ farm. We see it in the war. We're seeing it. Demons and humans are not, they're, they're two, uh, again, two sides of the same coin. And I love, love how it's being executed. It's so perfect. Yeah, punch that bitch in the face. I'm not a good person either, so I won't lecture you, but don't mess with the girl who saved my life. Um... Stop! Oh, what is all the racket? Don't get any closer. Hey, geezer, where's Rita? You're giving her back. I And I swear, if you make Rita... I'm telling you. If you make Rita into a Mary Sue, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Because that was my beef with Emma. I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. I bought that girl. I see. Life can be bought with money, eh? Technically, yes. Then try buying her own. Woo! Ooh. Oh, money! Rita! Um. Rita, where are you? Leo? Is that you? There you are! Why are you here? What about your revenge? I thought about it all night, and this is my answer. There is no meaning in the fact that we were born, but there is a meaning in living. You can decide that for yourself! Ooh, this writing Caillou! Oh my god! I'm going to live. I'm not going to get revenge. What are you going to do? I, I want to live. I want to live too. Then back away from the door. Back away from the door. Huh? Let's go home to where your family is. Okay. Thank you. It's nothing. I'm just repaying you. I knew you weren't fit to be a gangster, Leo. What? I'm sorry, Margo. Sorry. Daddy. So... There's meaning to living, and each of us gets to decide. Does that apply to me, too? What do you want to do? I want to write a story. Ooh. I like that the banner even says people aren't weak. Um, I want to write a story. A story about how each of our lives have meaning. I feel so debated right now, but this is a plot, it's, a, but it didn't say it was an extra or bonus story. This is a plot story. And the ending of this chapter says it was something very interesting that she says she wants to write a story about each of our lives have meaning. I honestly feel like this is a sign that we're going to be getting a series from the human world perspective. Of, well, yeah, the human world perspective, but of what was going on in the human world 
during the um, events of the Promised Neverland, and we're our mornings. Holy shit, we're gonna be getting a story kind of equivalent to the Promised Neverland, but in the human world. That's what I really. Ho that's what I'm really hoping. I really, really hope that's the case based on this chapter. I really do. This chapter has a lot of promise that, and I really hope this is a sign that we're going to get it. Um, the writing really dictates that we're going to get it, especially the end. I love, again, I love the twist that we got with the, uh, um, the, fa uh, with the father and the, and the mother. And then we got the gangsters going on. And something I would love to see, well, you could make the argument that the equivalent would be seeing like, not just organ, and this is how this could be done. You wouldn't, you can, yes, you can have organ farms, but, um, organ harvesting farms, but you could also see these churches do really dirty shit. Um, have the churches be like a front for the black market in general. You could see it do it, um, the churches do uh, child trafficking, Se a ch not just for like sex trafficking, for child labor, um, organ harvesting. Um, you can do, oh my God, what you could do drug trafficking. Uh, you could have the kids be drug mules. Um, we've seen, oh, child soldiers. There's so much you can do with this. Um, like child so you know what I mean by like child soldiers, right? You can use them as mercenaries, like we've seen in Gunnix Clover. I would love to see this in full blown, full blown series and have the church, instead of having the, the farms, have it be the churches running the show. Um, and have, and you know who'd be in charge of it? Instead of the royalty, like with the demons it be the Vatican. I would love it. I would love it so much and it would be so controversial and so taboo. I would love to see it. I would love to see um, Caillou and Posica do this. This would be such a very interesting series to go about. And the other thing you could do with this is have the churches work, and, and this is in regards to like the drugs and especially like the child, you could even have them do this with the churches, is have the churches work with, and you could have them collaborating with both sides of the war. Have them use the kids as, um, have them hire child soldiers, have them hire them as mules, have them hire them as, uh, prostitutes and, f and or well, yeah, organ donors, nah, not organ donors as much. You can't do it for that, but you can, you, you can have them do it for like, for child labor, everything. You could do so much with that. I would, and you could and not, and again, not just limited to the elite class to have them, you know, use these kids. You could have like different sex of the church, again, different sex of the churches raise, uh, f um, grooming the kids for doing different things. It's very, and it's just, there's just more potential with that in comparison to what the demon farms were doing. Oh man, I, and here's where I think it could get even better. Is if, remember I was saying there was something very suspicious with the Rotri clan. What if you have the Rotri clan get involved with this as well? What if the Rotri clan were um, the ones, maybe even not the Vatican being in charge of it. What if you have the Rotri clan in charge of the whole thing? Could have that as well. You could have the, and you could have the, oh man, wouldn't that be a trip if the Rotri clan, you could have the, well, you could have the Rotri clan running the whole thing, or you could have the Rotri clan like being the middleman between, um, between the churches and the Vatican, which would be even more fascinating. Um, or just, I should say, just ask. And it would work because, remember, the Rotrys were the middleman between the demon, um, between, um, you know, the um, the demons and um, and the farms themselves. So I would, dude, that that would be such a trip. 
See, Caillou and Caillou, I haven't figured out. I haven't figured out how you could do this series. If you need help, you can come to me for it. Um, I might just do a video on that, on how this could be done. I probably should. <laughs> but um, I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that this could work as a series? I would love to see it. I really would. And then what you could do at the end of it. And this is how you tie, tie it all together and then go into a sequel with um, Emma and the rest of the rest of them is um is have every and fuck you could actually have them cross over and then go into the sequel where they take on the raw trees and the vatican actually if you think about it because remember raw, we saw the raw trees collecting all the kids at the end is have all the kids meet up at some point or like near the end of of um this of you know this series or you know what i mean of this series and then meet up and then go for the sequel series and have uh, be with Emma and everyone and um, be it with those kids, uh, be it with um, the kids in the human world. And then you could title it Two Sides of the Same Coin or some shit like that. Dude, I gotta do a video on this. Oh my God. I'm gonna, I swear, I will do a video on this. Probably, I will do a video on this. I'm gonna do that. I'll do that shit today or tomorrow. Oh my god. I am fucking genius, man. I am genius. If I could draw, I would. Trust me. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Promise Neverland content, there's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.